Hello, Rock Bags, it's Joe Plays Games. Welcome to the Arc News. Today on the Arc News, we've got loads of stuff coming up talking about the sponsored mods, two brand new ones that were added. We're going into a little bit more detail about them and the possibility of an official sponsored mod being announced. If you've been following my news stories for the last few months, I told you guys they probably would only get maybe another one, possibly two sponsored mods, official mods, coming out by the end of Christmas. Now remember, it's important to note that sponsored mods just means they're in development and the actual official mods is when they're finished or the team think they're ready to go public for everyone, including Xbox and PS4. Due to the launch of the Ark Survival Evolved, it did seem like a lot of that stuff was put on the back burner by the team, but it looks like hopefully they've got a bit more time now so they can pull one of the mods that are currently in the program and make it official. So we're going to be talking about which ones it could possibly be, as well as that we've got a few bits of information, small stuff about server issues, particularly in other countries. So let's go. So let's get through it all small stuff first. Apparently there are some issues with Germany servers. So if you live in Germany, there are some problems massively with the server online situation there, particularly to do with whatever company you're with. It's not just Ark, it appears to be lots of other games, particularly on the PS4. So it does look like it's something to do with their system. So if you're in Germany or you're trying to play or do something like that, just bear with it and hopefully it'll get fixed soon. So Jeremy Stieglitz has been tweeting, that's where the info comes about the official sponsored mod. So he says here, a way to tame and transport small fishies and other small creatures is coming. Also, Xbox HDR support looks incoming for PC, Xbox One S, Annex and PS4 Pro, looking pretty. So if you've got one of them premium consoles, hopefully it will give you a bit more of a nicer look. And he goes on further to talk about the transport of small creatures. It does look like it's going to be aimed mostly at fish. You can be an evil overlord and make a little pit full of piranhas and leeches and drop your enemies inside it. Funnily enough, there does seem to be something like this already in the mod selection. So hopefully they've maybe nicked the idea from them or it's just something they've worked on themselves. If you haven't heard of Echo Mods, where have you been? It's got over 1 million downloads on Steam. It's one of the most popular mods on Ark. It comprises many, many, many things, mostly decorative to give your arc world a bit more life and a bit more personality. What it does do is got something called Echo Terraniums, and I'm sure you've seen these in other YouTubers' Let's Plays by now. But you can basically transport creatures and put them into fish tanks. Now, there's lots of creatures here. It's not just fish. There's all sorts of things you can do with it. But I imagine this is some sort of similar way they're going to actually do this. A good while ago, Jeremy was tweeting about the fact that they'd made it easier for developers and modders to actually utilise a way of putting certain creatures in certain smaller areas. I'm not a technological whiz. I can't remember exactly what it was. But it had something to do with the blueprint paths and being able to uh, make sure you can, you can make them spawn easier or so you can carry them. A bit like a Pokemon. If you didn't see the Pokemon mod that came out, it basically was Pokemon. You chucked a ball and a dinosaur appeared. And it looks like that may be some of the technology behind having these smaller creatures being able to be captured and taken back to wherever you want them to. It would be really cool if fishing is a real thing where you actually fish and you get to keep the fish instead of eating it or killing it. So enough of that though, that's the normal little small bits coming out. So going back to this tweet, Jeremy's put, what's the next ARC official mod going to be? Obviously he hasn't actually given an answer yet. Lots of people, including some of my rat bags, have put what they want it to be. Most people want it to be S+. If you don't know, S+, is actually being made as part of the main game. They have been working heavily with the creator of S+, to install a lot of the actual features and options into the base game. So while it might not necessarily have all the features of S+, the game soon will have the ability to do a lot of the same things. So let's hope it's not S+, or if it is, maybe they've done some way and they've just decided to release it as an official mod. But from what I understand, a few months ago, they were heavily talking about just implementing it as part of the actual game. So that leaves other ideas. Most people, Connor, he says Echo Mods there. I say Echo Mods. Hell's Fury Echo Mods. It does seem like Structures Plus and Echo Mods is some of the most you know, popular. It could be a new map, but I highly doubt it. The selection at the moment on the sponsored map section has got quite a lot of maps. It'd be really good to see an actual new game mode or something decorative that can add something different to the ARC sponsored mod program and the official mod program. There have been two brand new sponsored mods added to the program. This did come out recently with the other news about the delays of Xbox servers, so I kind of overlaid it. But I'm really looking forward to this mod, Zoology. I'm running it on my PC server, we're just about to start it up today. 
so expect a small let's play looking at it and in detail about what it's all about. But I'm going to give you the quick breakdown. The short version is Zoology is a mod that make, basically changes dinos and how they act and behave. You can interact with them in different ways, you have to build trust with them, and it's all based on the fictional dossier character Helena. So you're meant to study these creatures, you're meant to gain additional knowledge that will unlock special perks. So for example here, if you learn the pack mule engram, you'll be able to increase your pet's weight carrying ability. Your dinos will suffer from morale and stress. Damn, it's like real life. Some are going to be intelligent enough as well that they'll actually flee from their predators, which has just been implemented or will be implemented in the game soon. And predators only hunt when they're hungry. So there is a chance you could run up against the Giga and not get your ass chomped. So you have to basically keep your dinosaurs happy and that is something I think really interesting for a game like this where we get so attached to the pixels, to our creatures, to our tames. It makes even more sense that you have to build up relationships with them. I am the worst. I treat my dinos like cannon fodder. If you ever watch a Let's Play of mine, it's a miracle if one of my dinosaurs managed to survive more than one episode. So for people that actually take care of the dinos, this is going to be a fantastic mod. Obviously, it's only just joined the sponsor program. I don't think this is going to be part of the official program. But maybe in the future it will be, and hopefully in the future it could come to console. Now, I'm dubious of saying that. I don't like hyping things up like I told you before. I've recently learned that it's going to be very hard for them to get all of these mods onto console. Mainly because of the time. That's why it's really important that Jeremy has actually tweeted out saying there is going to be another official mod. The idea that we're going to get access to every single mod on Steam for console is a lie outright. And any YouTubers or people hyping it up need to fix up and look at themselves. The team don't have the time to simply do that. They can't just do it like Skyrim and open it up. And even the Skyrim doesn't do that. All the mods that are on the PS4 and Xbox have actually been ported over. They are not exact same copies. They still need a little bit of work and a bit of attention from the actual people that create their mods to go and work on Xbox and PS4. And the same thing would happen here. There's lots of limitations. Because Ark is an intensive game, lots of people, the modded creators, use lots of resources that are only available on PC. So any of these mods that you see come into the sponsored mod program, they would have to be ported over to console. That's why you're not going to see hundreds or you know loads of mods coming. The best we can hope for is maybe three to five, you know, in the next six months. And I'm saying that's pushing it. I wouldn't. I'd expect to maybe see about five in the next year. Don't get your hopes up for too many mods coming, but at least we will start to see some movement on actually getting something brand new. If you don't know, Ragnarok is an official sponsored mod. And obviously that is still heavily in development. It's nowhere near finished. It's got months and months of work to be complete. So enjoy the fact that we may be getting an official mod coming soon, but don't get too hyped about how many of these are actually going to come and what kind of state they're going to be when they actually arrive. And I'll just finish off with this one. This one was added as well, the Urban Deathmatch. I'm not going to lie. I saw this and my I just groaned and went, no... To me, this isn't what I want to see from a mod in Ark. The best mods take the best features from a game and they subvert it and change it and make it into something still slightly recognisable but has different properties and it's different something offering something different. But reading through this, at first it just seemed like it was just a battle royale mode being added in just for the hype or the bandwagon of it all. And that is just really unoriginal. I can't think of anything worse than Ark trying to jump in on the Battle Royale scheme. Unless it has something to do with the dinosaurs. That's why SOTF was good. It wasn't just simply a case of running around killing each other with a bow and a gun. You had different strategies that involved the dinosaurs and that is the core of what Ark Survival Evolved is for me. Aberration may have brand new creatures but there's only about 12. The rest of the creatures are still going to be part of that base game of dinosaurs. So having a multiplayer mod like this, I just wasn't impressed. But I want to give it a go and I want to make sure that I'm talking right when I say, you know, what it's like. Now, I do enjoy PvP. I've done many PvP events, particularly with stuff where we just run around trying to kill each other. I think more than anything, I didn't like the setting, the urban setting. I would have liked to have seen like a medieval pre-built sort of arena. That's just being nitpicky, obviously that's just my opinion and what I would like and what I think about the game. But obviously you guys, you might really want this, you might think it's an amazing idea. So I'm going to show it off to you, we're loading this up on my second server as well. So expect some gameplay in the next week or so, showing you guys what the urban deathmatch is. To be fair, let's read the description to make sure I clarify exactly what it is. 
Spawn areas are predetermined and each spawn has six crates that can be used to gear up your players. Be sure to give this a look if you're looking for some fun events to host on your server. So it is team deathmatch setting basically, you run around trying to kill each other. You can go inside the building so far, we've looked at it last night a little bit. So I want to give it a chance before I start saying too much more that I don't like it. On the flip side, I know from experience from uploading a few different mods like um, we've got lots of gun mods at the moment because we've been trying Timmy Carbine's Call of the Wild. That would go really well there, so there's definitely lots of mods that could complement it if you're on PC. But again, don't get hyped, this won't be coming to console in the next 6 months. Good news is none of the mods have been removed this month. They have slowly started to take away mods that maybe haven't seen progress go far enough. They took away the Moon mod and have took away some maps like Madagascar as well as a few others. So currently right now, part of the sponsored mod program and presuming one of these mods will be an official mod. You've got Timmy Carbine's Call of the Wild, a horde based mode where dinosaurs will attack you and you have to defend your base. It's a really good way to test your base defences and to make it a bit more interesting for PvE. Dragon Punk Tribe of Gods, bit bit different this one, they're basically compiling and utilising a lot of other mod creators to test their functions and test what they're doing with their actual future mod. While a lot of it is in early stages, there's not really enough content yet just for it. They seem to be utilising a lot of other people's work to see how everything will test and run. But the general idea is that it's meant to have its own custom map with different areas including something like a more you know advanced city area as well as typical floating islands and a huge leviathan creature that goes through the skies and actually has a town or a city on top of it very very early stages that one's going to take a very long time it's not scheduled until next year to be ready capitalism series and pga m role selector i have no idea it looks like it's just another way to buy stuff and barter really good for role play things like that would be amazing if they could get that on console ISO Crystal Isles, I love this map, I've not had a chance to even fully explore it but the last few days I've been working on some special videos and it is a gorgeous gorgeous map, it is really intensive though, I can't imagine this is going to be ready for console, I, I just think it's got a little bit too much work to optimise it and getting it ready, but who knows, maybe they've found a way, maybe the port team are going to be taking on the task and making it manageable. But I think it's still got a long way to go until it's maybe ready for an official actual mark. Advanced Rafts. You know what? It seems like one of some of the most simplest ones that can be added. Being able to build and make different things happen with your rafts is such a concept. Simple concept. So that could be something that gets added in. But it's not particularly too sexy. Don't get me wrong, the creator. I think it's great. Lots of my people that love making rafts would love it. But is it sexy enough for an official sponsored mod? Now this auction house seems like it's got a lot of the same sort of stuff as the Capitalism series. Now I'm not too sure, I've not looked at either of these in detail, but you let me know if you have what is the difference between the auction house and the Capitalism series. Offline raid protection and art postal service. Now I'm still struggling to see why we need offline raid protection when it's just been added to the game. Well it's been added to the game a while ago now. What does this do that's different from the base game? You can see it adds a bulb or a shield to it. And the Ark Postal Service was something I'd seen in Primitive Plus that never got fully fleshed out. So hopefully maybe it's making it better and easier to use. But again, I don't know necessarily think this is going to be something that's going to really get hype and excitement out for console users particularly. MRAD Tools Inc. is a Fallout 4 um, I would inspirationalised. It's got a lot of heavy industrial pieces on it. There are some really nice decorative pieces as well. Again, there's something quite small to add to the game to change it and mix it up. It could be good. And we've got more islands. Now, as much as I might like these islands, Thieves Islands and Skies of Nazca are pretty cool maps. I don't want to see another map. We want more. We want gameplay. We want something different that really changes what we've already got. Not necessarily just another map that may be half complete. Same goes for Shigo Islands, as much as it might be a beautiful map, and I'm sure, it, you know, I don't think I've actually toured Shigo Islands properly. I've definitely toured them too. I want something different. Survival Plus would be absolutely amazing. It would probably take the place of Primitive Plus. Now, Primitive Plus is still going on. It is an actual official mod, technically. But progress stalled because the creator was basically being used to work on the main game for months on end. So now the main game is out, officially. Hopefully, he's getting back to it, said the creator. But for now, though, Survival Plus seems to have been doing the job or, or really installing something different in terms of the base way that you play the game. 
it has prefab buildings that you just add resources to and it will make the building for you there's all sorts of different roles and ways to play it so that would definitely be something that I would consider sexy and then we've got the building mods again which are great fantastic the castle keeps and forts mod is pretty cool it's really intensive though like the the costs of actually getting a lot of these materials to build this stuff is really expensive so I don't know how that would really fit in on the official mods unless they've really tinkered around with it and made it accessible for everyone. Structures and Structures Platform Plus, like I said, they are working with the actual creator of this. So I don't know if we're necessarily going to see this as a fully fleshed official mod on its own. It might be. But from what they said a few months ago, they were actually talking to the creator and working it out to get many of these features put into the base game. So it would be a bit counterproductive or stupid to make it an official mod. Obviously you know about Ragnarok, you've been playing on it, it's around 60 to 75% complete. I'd say it's got a long way to go yet. They're just about to launch a brand new desert area that should be coming maybe at the end of October, possibly November. And even after that it's going to have many many more months of optimizations and getting the map you know, correct and making sure there's no bugs. It took nearly a year for the centre map to be finally complete as in the creator was happy with it and the team considered it complete. So this is one of the ones that I really think it should be. I think it's something that you know, would open up a world of different possibilities. Having the Echo mods to it is not the most intensive either. A lot of it is down to reskins, although they are making more of it functional. But I would really love to see something like this added to the base game. Then you've got other things that are just a bit of a meh. Advanced command menus just allow you to cheat easier. It's got everything going in it that you can just do quickly and easily without having to type in millions of codes. And Steampunk mods. Now Steampunk mod has transformed a little bit or whether it was these original plans. It does look like it's going to be a conversion mod. So it's not going to just be a case of having new building pieces and a few new dinos like that controlled by Steam or got special Steam armaments. He is working on his own custom map. Again, the mod is really intensive. The steampunk ship itself is a little bit buggy still. It's very, very intensive for servers and for your computers. It is a load of fun though. We've been working on stuff for a good few weeks now. So it'd be interesting to see where this goes if it does become a conversion mod, how it actually works. So there you go. That's a rundown just in case you didn't know about what the mods are. Remember, these are sponsored mods. They have a chance of becoming official mods. When they become official mods, they will be released on every platform, Xbox, PS4 and PC. Otherwise, these mods right now are only available on PC. So what mod do you think it's going to be? Let me know in the comments section down below. After queuing all that out of this list, what ones do you think are going to be an official mod added? And when will it release? With Aberration meant to be due this month, are they really going to release another official mod at the same time as DLC? It kind of killed it for Primitive Plus last year when they released Scorched Earth at exactly the same time. No one really went to play Primitive Plus as much because they were too busy playing the brand new DLC. So I hope they don't do the same thing. We will have to wait and see what actually happens. So, I'm Jay Plays Games. There you go, that is another ARC news done and dusted. An in-depth look at what's going on with the mods, the official sponsored mod coming. Let me know what you think and I'll see you in Ratbags later.